Hello and welcome to the first official beta release of the TT Mod Manager, also known as TTMM. Um, this is a mod manager for Traveler Sales games at the moment, uh, the complete saga, but we'll be quickly adding support for Indiana Jones and Batman, and hopefully others. Um, the main features that you might be interested in is it has support for merging characters. So if you have two new character, two new mods with that add new characters. It's able to automatically merge them and make sure that there's no conflicts. It is able to load reloaded two mods if they have a redirector system. If it's a DLL, they can't, but if it's a redirector based mod, like for example, Cheatser 9000 Sonic mod, which I'll show you in a second, those do work. And it has a built in Python scripting system for modders. If you want to look at how that works, you can check out the modding video. But as a building Python scripting system, that lets you do some pretty cool stuff with not a lot of code. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you open up your, your zip file that you can get on the GitHub repository under releases, you can just go copy this, paste it anywhere you'd like. And here, if you double click on TT Mod Manager, it will open up. Unfortunately, right now it requires administrator permissions. We're going to try to get that fixed, but because it uses symbolic links um, to not have to make actual copies of the game, but to just reuse the files that it already exists, those requires um, admin permissions on Windows. We'll see if there's a workaround, but just know. So once you open it up, you'll see this. The first thing you want to do is set your game directory. So this directory has to be a mod ready version of the game. Um, just for reference is what that looks like. This, oh, let me pull that up uh, here, yeah. This is not mod ready. Mm -hmm. This is not mod ready because the dat files are here and you do not have, you know, the chars files, levels files, stuff files, all that. So if you see the dat files and you don't see these folders, that's not mod ready. If you go here, this is mod ready because the dat files are not there and you have your chars, levels, PC, scripts, and stuff folders. Um, if, you want, if you don't know how to make your game mod ready, there's gonna be a link in the description as to how to go about doing that. But just so you know, that's your mod ready. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to find your the base directory of your game. So in my case, it's PC. You can tell because it's whatever folder has these other folders. So in my case, it's PC. Um, and now you can start adding mods. So if you have a mod that's in a folder, Click add folder. So let's add a cool folder mod. I have one right here. So let's add sample mod. Um, once you add it, it will pop up on your sources. So this is a source. So what a source is is very simply a place where you can find one or more mods. And the actual mods will appear here. So you can see there's two mods in this one source. Um, these are both TTMM mods, but you can also add mods from Reloaded 2 if they use the redirect system. So if we go here, let's see, yeah, let's go here, we can go and add another mod. We go into Lego mods, sample, or Sonic. You'll ask, you'll tell you you found Reloaded 2 mods, and it will load in. So these is Ch Cheater 9000's Sonic Dimensions mod, pretty cool mod. Um, you can enable and disable mods here. Um, if you have a conflict, for example, this requires this, but this is disabled, it'll tell you. So for example, I think this requires this. Um, and the last thing you can do, of course, is you can add it as an archive. So for example, I have another mod here, which is sample script.zip. If you open this up, it'll add these as an archive, pop up here. If you want to remove a mod, the best way to do it, like if it if you don't want if you want to remove it, not just disable it, the best way to do it is click over here, click on the source. So for example, say I want to get rid of the ice rink in Gizmoville. What source is that? We can see right here that it is sample mod, remove sample mod, that's gone. Uh, once you have all your mods ready, you can just go enable, disable, we'll take the, keep these on. You can then click apply and run mods, which will first get rid of any existing installations that you have. Not, it won't, it, very importantly, it will not touch your original installation, um, but it will then copy all the new mods over once it makes a fresh copy and then create your mod. This is a debug window for the uh, Python stuff, so don't worry about that unless you're modding, in which case, I guess, do worry about that. And there you go. So here is the Sonic mod in action. Um, one important thing to note is, again, it supports, of course, supports TTMM mods. Hmm. 
it supports reloaded two mods. Um, it also supports mods that don't currently have any sort of a mod manager system. So for example, here under Lego mods, I have a cloud or cloud or however you pronounce it. Um, because this mod is already in the right directory structure, so it has chars, clod, and then all the clod stuff, stuff, text, English, all that, this works. Um, if you just have like, for example, I don't know, like clod dot, where, where is, where is, or Indiana Jones on PC, um, that won't just natively work, so you can either do it yourself and get it into the red directory structure, or ideally contact the mod author so they can fix it um, and implement it with TTMM. Um, so yeah, so that's really it. There will be for sure new updates coming out soon if you want to check them out on the release page for the GitHub repository. Um, but yeah, happy modding.